Hi guys, welcome to this review. I like to call it an unboxing, but basically I've had to re-video everything after I uh, had a few technical difficulties. Anyways, let's get on with this. This is a Hobby Boss 172 scale kit of a German Kriegslokomotiv BR52. So it's a um, it's a steam locomotive from the Second World War, uh, produced by uh, you know the Reich Ministry under um, you know the uh, the period of the uh, Nazi rule of Germany in the 1930s. Uh, there's some blurb on the box here. It's sort of in Chinese English, kind of difficult to explain. But what it's saying is that this. Um, these uh, steam locomotives, which obviously were fundamental to the, the war industry and to the economy, uh, had classes 44, 50 and 86. So the best locomotive class of the war was the class 50. And this class 52 is a, this actual one, the BR52, is a simplified model B, uh, class 50. So... Uh, I need to research and learn a little bit about locomotives. I've never, I, I don't know much about them. I build armor kits and I understand a lot about them. Uh, but for a, uh, you know, th this sort of subject, something new to me, that's why I've been attracted to it. Um, I believe that uh, Trumpeteer released the first 35 scale kits of a BR56, I think it was. And these Hobby Boss kits have followed on with a scaled down version of, of those of that 35th scale kit. Now, I've already uh, looked at all the sprues, but let's, let's go through and, and I'll show you what's inside. Very first thing that we see is this rather nice color uh, portfolio showing three separate, um, no, I don't think there's three separate versions, is there? There's, yeah, okay, two schemes. One is this, uh, you know, the matte black, which is, you know, typical, you know, uh, 1930s loco style. Um, and there's, I thought there might be a difference between them. There isn't. There's number 2495 locomotive in that black scheme with the red running gear. And then this really attractive... Um, uh, camo da dazzle camouflage scheme on here. This is what we're going to be doing, uh, which is field gray and middle stone. That looks like a real challenge. It looks interesting to paint. Two sets of instructions. Let's set off with the main bulk instructions for this kit. Um, here's the sprue layout. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. There's two of them. Six seven eight nine ten sort of sprues uh and then the instruction steps you can see quite a lot of detail they start off building this um chassis i suppose is what you call it uh details getting added on there's the cab cab details look really good you know on 72 scale they've obviously got the uh the steam lines the the valves themselves um the seats then the boiler construction quite a lot quite busy then the bulk construction seems to be completed by step four it looks like really most of it's complete by that st stage then we're adding more details on and then you know things are sort of getting simpler we're adding on less and less components as we move on yeah i mean look at step eight i mean seems that there's only two parts being added but they've made a point of detailing out and showing exactly how all this is meant to line up uh must be critical to get it right and then the sort of final step is adding these running boards i think you would call them oh no sorry another part as well rather neglected the tender at the rear which is where the coal is stored is also uh, constructed and then final details like the buffers getting added on to, to that and then it shows you how it's setting them up set it up the the completed model 
on a base. Yeah, a separate instruction sheet for the German railway track set. You can buy this separately, so you can buy as much railway track as you require. Uh, yeah, looks very straightforward. I mean, what is there to that? But great that you get that inside the kit. First thing I noticed was um, these steam brake lines are uh, very nicely done in a flexible vinyl or rubber. Um, we need to find out how um, that's going to get probably super glue, I think, to attach that to to the to the kit itself because we're going to join the plastic. You can see what they are. They're this sort of manifold here and then the steam lines coming off but they've got that detail which is great you know i mean it could have been really oversimplified but that's a that's a fair approach isn't it with the 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 vinyl parts there maybe uh wire if we need to super detail them or if anything goes wrong uh two sprues of these which show the um uh railway wheels road wheels wheels steam locomotive wheels anyways they look great all the the spokes are nicely detailed uh all these individual components look really good you know there's no problem there i mean look at the uh the controls there there's no point mentioning stuff like flash or you know um sync marks on kits that are made basically by the the good manufacturers i mean all the 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 problem the woes of old are nearly gone with the modern kits now uh we don't need to worry about you know there's no flash parent the, the quality of the molding is excellent and we've got great details in this 72 scale looks like everything's well catered for uh in terms of i mean look at that they've even got the handle on the the valves on the controls that looks great Yep, similar again got a tube to join up there so got some you know seam lines and bits of piece to deal with this is really well done the um rods that connect up those road i don't know the terminology for for railway stuff so uh apologies yeah feel free to comment and correct me in all the terminology especially when we go into building this thing yeah uh, I believe this is, yeah, this is the sprue for the tender. Uh, single piece component, which is, uh, you know, basically not really exciting. But, you know, they, they've, they've taken care of these details really well. Uh, like these flanges and pieces like that. There's some nice riveting detail on here, etc. Looks good. Not, nothing nothing to be concerned about and really more really getting quite excited about you know getting on with this build and you know looking at these springs and things there's going to be a lot of opportunity for uh you know when we've got a painting and weathering and drawing out that detail uh clearly the sort of main part of this uh steam train is the boiler so the boiler is going to be in you know obviously two sides and it'd be joined together we need to really be careful in eliminating that seam and the details look good again they've got the plating they've got the riveting you know the riveting and and bolting of all those plates they've got some details for these these lines here as well uh that's the cab roof with details there uh wood paneling for the interior face and then also I noticed this, this is also a, a wood a wood texture on here. I don't know, that's what these parts are here. I think that there's something to do with uh, deflecting that steam. I thought originally when I looked at it, I thought they're armor plates, but they're not because they're wood, obviously. But they're uh, intriguing. We'll find out, the, we'll reveal the mysteries as we... As, as we go into building it because i'm interested in these locomotives anyways uh because i don't know anything about them you know so it's going to be a bit of a you know uh, uh, an opportunity to learn about some technology from the uh uh you know early war the 
Second World War, uh, German locomotives. Uh, and we'll get back to these. <laughs> Let's have a look at this review. Some really nice parts here. This is the interior face of the boiler where the, the core would be shoveled into there. And there's the, I think the front face of the boiler as well. Yeah, there's no warpage or anything to worry about. Um, the sprue connection points are, you know, fine. You know, you don't have any problems with this, yeah. And the power, the the from looking at that, the 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 um, number of pieces is 281. So it's not, you know, a massive build. It's going to be something that we can really crack on with and get built quite quickly and i'm impressed with this as well this is the i suppose you call it chassis i'm not quite too sure but obviously it's the the, the lower portion of the of the uh, running gear uh, a single component which takes care of all the alignment had this been <laughs> separate so we haven't got any any problems there everything's going to be nicely lined up simplified great that's what i like to see in a kit uh final parts are these which are the um the two sets of of uh of rails you've got the ballast which is uh textured to represent you know like large stones the sleeper sleepers are represented with with the wood grain on them and there's the rails themselves and then there's the option of you know placing these together or putting an end cap on them and um, I think with that ballast you know not bad at all it's it's a good representation but maybe we can improve that so we'll have a look at that when we when we get building and then the final thing to look at are the uh, decals or decals as you know uh, depends where you're from uh, there's a, a film which is the cab windows so we need to cut them out and place them in yeah very small nothing to you know look at there and that's everything that's everything to look at in terms of of the um of this kit and uh, we're going to crack on with it straight away and uh hope you join in with the build see you later guys